What's up guys, Hackers Mechanic here. And today we're going to try and go get an idea of how we're gonna fix this paint. Um, a lot of you guys uh, in the comments said what some of the issues were. And we think that it's um, essentially what we call an orange peel paint job. Um, somebody mentioned uh, wet sanding, cutting and buffing. A lot of people just said go to a good auto detailer and uh, have them take care of it. So that's where we're gonna go today and uh, see what they say. All right, so I just left Concorso Detailing in Plano, Texas. Uh, the gentleman's name is Tony. He came recommended from the um, local Porsche Club um, owner's Facebook group. And um, really nice guy, very personable, um, loves detailing his cars. He had an amazing new um, Corvette that I'll probably post on my Instagram page that he had done a ceramic, uh, ceramic wrap and um, uh, clear coat or something. I don't know. Thing was sick. I mean, if you if you stood next to that thing next to a Ferrari, it would be really hard to determine which is which. You took the badges off. It is that thing is unbelievable. So I had him look at the Mercedes, and uh, he took a uh, he took the front right panel uh, to do some testing on to see um, what was going to happen to the paint. His main concern, looking at the paint and this sort of orange peel, was you know perhaps they probably didn't do their um, didn't do their prep very well, which is pretty obvious, but he was concerned that if you start polishing it pretty hard, uh, it's going to, um, the paint is just gonna disintegrate essentially, and it's, it's just gonna come off. So he did sort of a light polish test on one panel. So he used um, a, uh, a compound along with a microfiber pad, and then he polished that, and you could definitely tell the difference uh, it was much smoother to the to the texture, uh, to the touch. Um, still, sort of had that you know it's not it's not exactly a mirror finish, but that that's not going to happen. Essentially, he went through went over the car, looked at it, said you know I can't work miracles, but um, I think you'd be very happy with what we can do, and they're going to uh, polish it up. It'd be around six hundred bucks. He's also got a wheel guy that is going to come. What I noticed is my front front right wheel. It uh, doesn't look like it has a um, um, like a finish on it, so it's it's rough to the touch. So it's like missing a clear coat. Um, so he's got a guy that's going to come out, and for 75 bucks a wheel, he said he'll make him look amazing. And uh, the guy's going to do it in the parking lot, and he'll fix up the um, curb rash. He'll polish him up. He'll clear coat the front. So all that for 300 bucks, I think, is a pretty good deal. So. You know, I'm looking at maybe $900 and the car is going to look much better uh, on the outside and, uh, you know, add that to the paint job. We're talking about two grand or so, which is, uh, I guess, not too bad. We'll see, obviously, see how it comes out, but I think it'll go a long way. So. All right, Tony, what do you got for us here? What do we do? Okay. You got a 99? 99. E55 AMG. Uh, early uh, sedan rocket uh, that we just completed a uh, pretty thorough polishing. I think you had noted quite a bit of uh, orange peel in the hood, and we were able to help with that quite a bit. Uh, not eliminated by any means, but there were several other big spots uh, that were just inferior in the way the paint was finished. Uh, but we were able to help, uh, not eliminate by any means, but, but make a, a big difference in the flatness of the paint. Same with the sides, much heavier orange peel. Uh, the good news of orange peel normally is that it's indicative of a, of a heavy amount of paint, a thick coating. Uh, and we then were able to polish and bring out at least the gloss uh, pretty successfully. Uh, trunk lid, uh, same thing. We were able to get more direct pressure on it and, and flatten that out. And I think that you can see that yeah, pretty a, well. That's amazing. Uh, the only difficulty with fine polishing is that it starts to produce more and more flaw 
that it brings out because the, the, the refined finish just is going to show more. So there are some things in it that, that we can't do anything about, but uh, also in getting it flattened, you can feel that texture. It's just as smooth as a baby's bottom. It's true. Um, yeah. And then we had a, a Wheels Premier come in and do a, a re-finishing uh, of the wheels. Uh, and this is a, you would say, a, a less expensive approach to taking them off and having them re-milled. But the, out, uh, the end result is very, very nice. Yeah, and this is the one that had no clear coat, which now looks, I mean, brand new. Yeah. That's amazing. And then on the inside, no big changes on the inside, but on our, our here again, the detailing in the jams and that kind of oh, thing. Yeah. Jim is able to really give you something that you can look at and see and enjoy uh, time and time again. Looks great. That looks fantastic. All right. And yeah, the hood looks great. Yeah. But now, you, I didn't ever see that. And then we got it out here after I polished it. It's like, well, looky here. And yeah. Then, but that's, you can see the circle. Uh huh. There, that right there is what they were trying to do something with. There's one there. Yeah. There's one over here. There was. There's one right here. Uh -huh. And there, you can see them. Right. When you catch the light just right, but much less than what. Yeah. What we could. Tell and then, right. oh, I polished your headlights. Good. To kind of bring those. So they actually polished them in Mako, and then I polished them again myself. So that they should well, be we, much better. We finished them off for you. Well, great. <laughs> I think they they look much better. So it looks awesome. So there you have it guys, there's my $1,000 Mako paint job turned into something that looks more than $1,000 thanks to Tony over at Concorso Detailing in Plano, Texas. He did a great job, he's a super good guy, um, really appreciate his work. I will put a link in the description for his shop if you want to go check it out. Um, he's got super great stuff, does ceramic coating, um, he had a Bentley Speed GT in there today, I've seen the new mid-engine Corvette in there, um, and I also dropped off my 911. So uh, we'll see how he does with that, and I'll have another video for that. But either way, I'm really excited for the uh, Mercedes. I think it looks way better. Uh, the paint's super, um, uh, super smooth to the touch. Um, you can still see the orange peel, but it just the car just really lights up a lot better. The wheels are amazing. This wheel right here had no clear coat, coat on it. It uh, looked terrible. Now the wheels look brand new, so that was awesome. Thanks, Tony. Um, so anyways, thanks for watching. Um, let me know what you guys think about the paint job. Uh, maybe I'll go back to Mako again, if, as long as I got Tony in my back pocket. But uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.